1. Biosafety Procedures in the Laboratory Biosafety is the use of precautionary measures to avoid becoming infected with potentially infectious microorganisms and contaminating the environment. General safety procedures must be followed to ensure a safe and accident-free working environment for all researchers who work in the laboratory. Objectives 1. Learn general safety procedures in the laboratory. 2. Discuss different biosafety levels, BSL. 3. Familiarize with laboratory warning signs and biohazard symbols. Biosafety Levels, BSLs. There are four biosafety levels, each with its own set of procedures for the containment of microorganisms and biological agents. Each biosafety level has unique containment controls based on the degree of pathogenicity, disease severity, microorganism transmissibility, and nature of the work. Each level has its own procedures for laboratory practices, the use of safety equipment, and the construction of facilities. BSL levels, based on pathogenicity of microorganisms under study. BSL 1. Pathogenicity. Non-pathogenic microorganisms. Example. Escherichia coli. BSL 2. Pathogenicity. Moderate pathogenic. Example. Staphylococcus aureus. BSL-3. Pathogenic microorganisms, which can cause potentially lethal disease through respiratory transmission. Example. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. BSL-4. Pathogenicity. Microorganisms are dangerous and pose high risks of aerosol-transmitted infections that are fatal and without treatment or vaccines. Example. Zeri Ebola virus. Laboratory practices, use of safety equipment, and facility construction of each biosafety levels, adopted from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. BSL-1 Laboratory Practice Aseptic Techniques Experiments performed on lab bench or table Safety Equipment Personal Protective Equipment or PPE Lab Gown, Gloves, Eye Protection Facility Construction Sink for Hand Washing Doors to Separate Working Space with the Rest of the Facility BSL-2 Laboratory Practice BSL-1 Plus restricted access to laboratory when work is being conducted. Safety Equipment BSL-1 Plus Face Shields Experiments performed within a biological safety cabinet Autoclave for decontamination and proper waste disposal Facility Construction BSL-1 plus self-closing doors, sink, and eyewash are readily available. BSL-3 Laboratory Practice BSL-2 plus medical surveillance of researchers and immunization for the microorganisms they work with. Safety Equipment BSL-2 plus respirators and all works performed within a biological safety cabinet. Facility construction. BSL-2 plus hand free sink and eyewash near the exit. Exhaust air cannot be circulated. Laboratory must have sustained directional airflow from the clean areas towards the contaminated areas. Entrance to the lab must be through two sets of self-closing and locking doors. BSL-4 Laboratory Practice BSL-3 Plus change clothing before entering the laboratory. Shower upon exiting. Decontaminate all materials before exiting. Safety Equipment BSL-3 
Plus all experiments must be performed within Class 3 Biological Safety Cabinet. And wearing full body, air supplied, positive pressure suit. Facility construction. BSL-3. Plus the laboratory is in a separate building or in an isolated and restricted zone of the building. Dedicated supply and exhaust air. Vacuum lines and decontamination systems. Laboratory safety procedures and aseptic techniques are of most importance to prevent any accidents, getting infected or contaminating the environment. General laboratory safety precautions and aseptic techniques. What to do? 1. Wear personal protective equipment inside the laboratory at all times. Wear lab gown, closed shoes, eye goggles, hand gloves. 2. Always pay attention to the biohazard symbol to avoid disease transmission and warning signs to minimize risks of exposure to harmful chemicals. 3. Tie long hairs. 4. Before and after experiments, wash your hands with soap. 5. Disinfect the workbench before and after use with disinfectant 70% ethyl alcohol. 6. Place beaker with alcohol to dispose by pet tips. 7. Decontaminate materials and glasswares used with microorganisms. 8. Always use disinfectant to clean up any spills with 70% ethyl alcohol. 9. Clean and disinfect glassware and slides that have been contaminated with bodily fluids such as blood, urine, saliva, feces, semen, vaginal secretions, and breast milk. 10. When not in use, turn off electrical equipment. 11. Maintain a clean and tidy working environment. Don'ts. 12. Don't perform unauthorized experiments. 13. Don't use equipment without permission and proper training. 14. Don't eat, drink, smoke, bring food, and apply cosmetics inside a laboratory. 15. Don't play inside the laboratory. 16. Don't buy pet by mouth. 17. Don't touch broken glasswares with bare hands. Laboratory Hazard Symbols The following symbols are used to warn researchers about the potential hazards in the laboratory. Biohazard It issues a warning on lab equipment that may contain biohazardous materials, such as blood samples. Carcinogen Hazard It is concerned with human carcinogens such as methylene chloride, formaldehyde, and benzene. This sign indicates that you must wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Corrosive hazard. Strong chemicals that corrode your skin and other materials. A single drop of the corrosive agent can cause significant damage. When working with corrosive substances, wear protective equipment at all times. Electrical hazard. Electrical hazards in the lab can cause burning and even death. When not in use, devices labeled as electrical hazards should always be turned off. Explosive hazard. It refers to laboratory chemicals with explosive properties. Flammable hazard. Chemicals have the tendency to ignite and cause fire. Should be stored properly, away from flames, sparks, and oxidizing substances. General warning. It is a warning that hazardous materials are present in the lab. Glassware hazard. It is a physical hazard with the potential to become a health hazard if contaminated with toxic or infectious substances. High voltage. A symbol represents lightning which can cause serious injury or even death. Hot surface. It warns of the dangers of burns from hot surfaces. This symbol is commonly found on laboratory equipment that generates heat, such as lab ovens and autoclaves. Ionizing radiation. It denotes the presence of ionizing radiation, 
which carries energy and is capable of liberating and ionizing electrons from molecules or atoms. The examples include X-ray machines, accelerators, and beam cannons. Low temperature. It refers to a cryogenic hazard within the lab, such as cold storage areas, where chemicals such as liquid nitrogen are kept. Non-ionizing radiation hazard. It warns about non-ionizing radiation sources such as ultraviolet, infrared, visible light, radio frequency, and microwave. Oxidizing hazard. They can transfer oxygen to flammable substances by transferring oxygen to another chemical substrate. They should be kept separate from flammable materials. When working with oxidizing agents, wear gloves and eye protection. Toxic material hazard. It is a generic sign for toxic poisonous substances that if inhaled, absorbed, or swallowed can cause severe harm. UV light hazard. It warns of potential dangers such as skin redness and ulceration. Long-term exposure to UV light can result in skin cancer.